every once in a while on this program, is this a program or YouTube show? How do I refer to myself? I don't know. Every once in a while in like reality, I say that the universe is around 13.8 billion years old and just toss that number out like it's no big deal. Like, yeah, oh yeah, our universe is 13.8 billion years old. Did you hear? <sighs> okay, that's fine. How can though how if if time is relative? Remember this whole special relativity thing? Time is relative. Different observers have different clocks. Different observers disagree about how long events take to last. Like it's different across the universe. So how can I say the universe is thirteen point eight billion years old? Is it 13.8 billion years old for us on the Earth in orbit around the sun with the sun in orbit around the Milky Way galaxy and the Milky Way galaxy blasting through space at hundreds of kilometers per second? If we were in a different galaxy with a different solar system with a different planet, would we come up with a different number? Now, of course, years is a unit, it's convention, you know, but you know, assuming we can make that translation, would we agree on the fundamental age of the universe, the amount of time it has since, since the Big Bang? Would we agree? If time is relative? Well, here's the thing, we would. Even though time is relative, we can compute a time, an age of the universe that everyone else can agree on and here's the trick here's the trick the relativity of time the fact that there are no master clocks ticking away there are no master rulers hidden away that we can measure absolute time and space with that's a special relativity thing and that's solely legit but when it comes to cosmology when it comes to the whole entire universe we need to up our game folks special relativity ain't good enough we need a, a slightly more general version of special relativity, a, a general theory of relativity, if you will. General relativity is our tool for understanding the universe on the largest of scales. And in general relativity, when we look at our universe, something funny happens. Our universe expands with time. Our universe gets bigger with time. As it ages, it gets fatter and fatter. There, this breaks the fundamental relationship between time and space. In our universe, at big scales, time and space act differently. As our universe gets older, it gets bigger. It was different in the past, it'll be different in the future. This means you can assign a unique time to each phase of the growth of the universe. There is one time associated with each size of the universe. When the universe is its current size, that's a current time. When the universe is half its size, there's a time associated with that. There is a, a, a mark in the calendar associated with that size. When it was a quarter of its size, there was a mark in the calendar associated with that. When it was one one thousandth, one one millionth this present size, there was a mark in the calendar associated with that. Mark, mark, okay. It's like a growth chart. Yeah, that's a great metaphor. There's a growth chart for the universe. There is a distinct age for each of the sizes of the universe as it evolves. And this means that there is a master clock. I know in my previous video, I totally said there's no such thing as a master clock ticking away in the universe. That is true when it comes to special relativity, when it comes to cosmology, when it comes to the whole entire universe and the evolution of our universe, there is a master clock ticking away that marks the time associated with each size of the universe as it expands, as it gets older. Now, there's that master clock ticking away. Of course, we have motion on top of that, the motion of our planet and our solar system and the galaxy. This adds or subtracts from that master clock. But because we have general relativity, because we can understand the mathematics, we can work out the time since the Big Bang, we can work out the age of the universe. And if you're to be transported to another galaxy or we to grow up in another galaxy and gain intelligence and start doing all sorts of intelligent things, as long as we could figure out general relativity, 
As long as we could deduce that we live in an expanding universe, you can perform the exact same set of calculations and arrive at the exact same age of the universe. So this is how we can all agree. Observers across the universe can agree on the time since the Big Bang. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification, blah, blah, blah. Go to askaspaceman.com for more details. Go to patreon.com slash pmstar if you'd, you'd like to see more of these shows. Or if you'd like me to stop, also go to Patreon. Contribute like a thousand bucks a month. I'll never make another video again. I'll find other things to do with my life. That may or may not be true, but it'll be interesting if you were to try it. It's a worthy experiment. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.